So friends, just when you thought you'd seen it all, Rudy Giuliani is now being sued by his own lawyer. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, Mr. Truth Isn't Truth himself, Rudy Giuliani, is now being sued by his own lawyers for failing to pay nearly $1.4 million in legal fees. I mean, let's take a look at where Rudy Giuliani is at this moment in time. First of all, he's an indicted RICO defendant in the state of Georgia for trying to criminally overturn the results of the presidential election down in Georgia together with his co-conspirators, his criminal associates like Donald Trump and Mark Meadows, John Eastman, Jeffrey Clark, Sidney Powell, Kenneth Cheesebro, and others. He's also an unindicted co-conspirator in a federal indictment in Washington, D.C. for his efforts to overturn the results of the presidential election in its entirety to install Donald Trump unlawfully, unconstitutionally for a second term. At the moment, he's an unindicted co-conspirator. He's one of six in that indictment against Donald Trump that special counsel Jack Smith returned in federal court in Washington, D.C. But let me tell you, I'm not much of a betting man. You may have heard me say before, I'm not a high roller. One dollar is my betting limit. Well, I would put the whole buck on Rudy Giuliani being indicted in the near future in federal court in Washington, D.C. Why do I say that? Well, because the first indictment that Jack Smith um, had the grand jury hand down in Washington, D.C. was only against Donald Trump and six unindicted co-conspirators. So what did we learn from that indictment? That Rudy Giuliani and five others were co-conspirators with Donald Trump, criminal associates. They committed crimes. They are responsible for those same crimes that Donald Trump is responsible for by virtue of them being co-conspirators. But Jack Smith, I think, wanted to stay narrowly and laser focused on Donald Trump so he could get him to trial quickly. But in my estimation, the last thing Jack Smith is going to do is say, you know those six co-conspirators, Rudy Giuliani and others, that we told you about in this indictment? We're not going to charge them for their crimes. We're just going to let them go. No, I'll put the full buck on Rudy and the five other co-conspirators, and perhaps others, being indicted sometime in the near future in federal court in Washington, D.C. So Rudy has that to look forward to. What else is Rudy Giuliani carrying on his very sorry resume? Well, his law license has been suspended in New York and he is pending possible disbarment. He has been recommended for disbarment in Washington, D.C. after an ethics hearing was conducted. He lied about and defamed Georgia state election workers, Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman, but don't take my word for it, take Rudy's word for it, because he admitted in a court filing that he lied about and defamed Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman. And the only thing left is a trial on the question of how much in money damages he should have to pay those two women for what he did to them, and I predict it's going to be in the millions. And now, add to that resume <laughs> that Rudy is being sued by his own lawyers for failing to pay nearly $1.4 million in legal fees. Here is the recent reporting, this from NBC News, headline, Rudy Giuliani sued by his former lawyers, claiming he owes $1.4 million in unpaid legal fees. And that article begins, Former Trump attorney Rudy Giuliani was sued Monday by his one-time lawyers in a lawsuit that says he owes $1.36 million in unpaid legal fees. Robert Costello, a law firm at the partner of Davidov, Hutcher, and Citron, sued Giuliani in New York Supreme Court. He and his law firm 
are seeking payment of legal services that Giuliani has received since 2019. Well, you know what, friends? If pressure bursts pipes, <laughs> Rudy Giuliani's got to be bursting at the seams. You do have to wonder if he ever sits and thinks to himself, you know, the decisions I've made thus far have gotten me right here, where I am, at this moment in time. A RICO defendant, an unindicted co-conspirator, disbarred a couple of times over, about to be successfully sued and ordered to pay millions to the two Georgia State election workers I lied about and defamed, and now my own lawyers. My own lawyers, whose responsibility it is to zealously represent my interests, are suing me because I failed to pay them when they were zealously representing my interests. You know, it seems to me that maybe I haven't made the best decisions. Maybe I should try a new path. Maybe I should sit down with the federal prosecutors and the Georgia state prosecutors and try to make right what I have done so very long in conjunction with, you know, trying to be Donald Trump's criminal associate. You know, maybe I should choose another path. Do you think Rudy thinks that to himself? Or do you think he just keeps fumbling and blustering and falling forward to whatever his ultimate situation is that lands him in prison, that lands him so deeply in debt with all of these money judgments that he can't dig out, lands him permanently disbarred, never being able to practice law again. It seems like maybe Rudy Giuliani should rethink the path he's chosen and, you know, start to do the right thing.